Hi everyone. So quick video about how to work with us. It is very easy. Um, download a packet uh, if you have a printer. If you don't, order a packet from our website or call us or email us and tell us to send it to you. Uh, so you get a paper packet in the mail and then you're going to fill out the worksheets. So there's the new client form, your basic info. Just read through all the questions and try to give us a, you know, if, if it doesn't apply to you, skip it. But do try to answer anything that applies to you because there are a lot of, um, depending on the state you live in, there could be extra deductions. So try to be pretty good about um, filling it in. On the second page, there's a little section where it says, um, confirm that you've included this document. Please try to do that because while you read through them, you'll find things that may be missing. I can't tell you how often uh, someone gets a notice from the IRS two years later that they forgot to report a little bit of money they took out of 401k. It was not a loan. They actually took it out. Um, we get probably three or four of those a year out of 900 clients. I don't That seems like a lot um, of people forgetting that they took money out of retirement. Um, so do try to look through that section. Sign the bottom of the form. Um, because it's sort of our letter of engagement as well. We have a dependent form that's next. If you have any dependents, if not, just skip it. If you have multiple ones, um, photocopy it for, you know, however many kids you have, one, one um, sheet per kid. And that is, um, that's your kids that are either under 24 and still a full-time student or under 19 um, and, and, you know, and just living at home. Um, so, uh, okay, flight crew. Um, with the new tax laws, as you know, uh, you don't get all the flight crew deductions that you have gotten previously, but do fill in the flight calendar. You don't have to write, you know, I was overnighting in Tucson on January 12th, whatever. Just check the box that says, for 2018, I have record of my on-duty flights. Um, that is going to make it so that your reimbursement on your W-2 is not taxable. So just check that box and scan, you know, or get, get us the flight calendar back with that box checked. You don't have to fill in the whole thing of where you went and all that. But do keep those records. Southwest, you know, they, they archive those in three months. So you better keep them, um, download them, because there's no way to get them. Well, you'd have to have a court order to get them later. Um, People that are self-employed, even if you did just a, like a week of Uber driving, you're probably going to get a 1099. This is our self-employed worksheet. It's two pages long. Um, try to fill out anything uh, anything you can. If you have questions, let us know. Um, that takes into account your mileage, home office, everything we would need to, um, to get some of that income considered expenses because you don't want to pay self-employment tax on every dollar you make, you only want to pay it on your profit. So um, anyone that's a landlord, it's a rental worksheet. Um, even if you Airbnb, make sure you fill that out. And uh, I think that's, yeah, that's the end of the packet. It's really simple. So once you get the packet complete and you have all of your forms that have come in from, you know, your W-2, your bank interest, we try to wait. If you try to wait till February 15th, if you know you have investments that have dividends, um, if you sold any stock, that's good because the e the easier it's just easier if you get us everything at once and don't piecemeal the documents to us. If you send us a W two one day and a bank interest statement the next day, there's no guarantee that all those papers will make it into your file in a proper order. So it's much easier for us to just wait for everything, and um, then send us uh, send us all of it in one either envelope. If you're a person that's going to use snail mail, you guys get a deal with FedEx. So it's like eight bucks for you to send everything overnight, which is, I think, great. Um, make photocopies. Don't send us your originals. Um, we've never had a problem, but I, I don't need to worry about it. So, um, so if you're a tech savvy person, you can scan it all into one PDF like continuous scanner, one PDF, don't send us 20 separate attachments attached to an email um, or even in the portal. It's just too difficult to get all those, to, to go into each separate document and to know that you've printed that one already when there's 20 of them. It's just, it's a little little much on our end, uh, especially during tax season, I'm trying to really be efficient here and keep track of everyone's files. Um, once we have everything, we will uh, put the information in, review your tax return, and then 
we're going to email you letting you know that we've put your invoice into the portal. You're going to pop in there and pay it. And um, then we'll review your return with you um, and see, you know, how it's looking, whether you're going to get a refund or owe. Um, and you need to e-sign your documents. So those are going to be uploaded to the portal as well for you to e-sign. And, um, and then once you e-sign those and you've paid us, we, uh, we e-file you and it should take like two weeks if you're getting a refund. If you owe money, that's a different story, but you do need to pay it by, um, this year it's April 15th of 2019 for your 2018, um, tax liability. Um, anyway, we're here if you have any questions. Once you've downloaded the forms or had them sent to you, feel free to call us and ask us anything. Um, this new tax law should not be forever, um, but this is how the situation is right now. We're minus flight crew deductions, so, um, but we're, we're, we have hope that it's going to go away and we're going to get back to um, having all the deductions that you guys used to have. Um, let us know if you have any questions um, or airline taxes at gmail.com. You can email us um, or call us at 847 715 8930. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.